Good morning everybody, I'm Logan and today I'm going to be taking you along with me here on Brian's farm. So it's about 35 degrees here this morning and we're finally going to start getting our corn out of the field and getting it in our grain bin here behind me. The problem is we don't have our own combine, we have somebody do it for us, so we have to wait for him to do not only his own fields, but other surrounding farmers before it gets to us. Now sometimes, depending on if he's ready or not, he'll do us second instead of third or fourth, but doesn't matter, at least we're gonna get done and we got a nice day to do it. Before we get started, I'll try and give you the rundown of what's gonna go on and how it's gonna happen. So, we have fields around our farm here and we're gonna have two combines running and I think three trucks. They're gonna be filling them up, bring them back to here, which then we'll be running the corn out of the trucks into this auger, which then will get fed up through into the bin and get dropped down in. It's a pretty fast process, but we do have quite a bit of corn, so it'll probably take us all day. We got these boards here on the ground so he knows exactly where to back up and how far to go. Perfect.
All right, so as you guys seen, like I said before, comes out of the truck, gets dumped into the auger, runs up the auger, and into the bin. Now, it doesn't just go into the bin. As you've seen, it goes into this cone here, which then hits that spreader and spreads it around the bin. That way it all doesn't pile up, either in one corner or in a heap in the middle. It gets evenly spread out throughout the whole bin. So I'm actually gonna drop down inside now, come back down the ladder here, but you gotta be very careful you don't fall off this because you get severely injured if you don't die. And see how it's looking in the bin. We have noticed over the years that the corn likes to heap up a little more on this side of the bin over here. So like I said, I'm gonna go down in here and see if that's what's going on. If it is, there's not much we can really do about it. It's also not easy getting inside the bin here. Ooh. My leg doesn't want to move that way. <laughs> I'm going to get corn all over in my shoes. But I can empty it out when I get out. You gotta be very careful when being in a corn bin, especially as it gets fuller, because if for some reason that corn would get bridged up and make a pocket underneath and I would walk out across there, I could sink down in and almost suffocate myself. It's happened before, um, and it's just something I'll be very careful with. If you were gonna leave this ladder for some reason to walk out in here, you should have some kind of harness on tied to the top of the bin up there so that you can always pull yourself up and you cannot sink down in because like I said, it's just very dangerous. Now, like I said before, and what it's been doing over the past couple of years is it likes to heap up on this side a little more and you can definitely tell it is. I don't think it's too bad. Um, nothing really to worry about. But once we are done doing corn today, this bin will about be up to the top. Not up to where the roof is, but up to like that top ring right there. So at that point, what we'll do is turn our stirways on and that'll come around the bin. It takes about two hours to do a full revolution. And that that does, it helps to even this corn out. That way it's not heaped up on one side. So it's a pretty cool process. Um, once we're done, if it's not dark, I'll try and show you guys the stirways going around. Um, it's a lot of mechanical and it's just, this was built, I don't know how many years ago, I'll have to talk to my dad, but it's amazing the technology they had to do this kind of stuff. So I'm going to get back out of the bin here now, uh, get ready for my dad to bring another truck in. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say was, if you remember me doing corn, bagging corn in a past previous video, it wasn't my last video, I think it was two videos ago, um, I'll have a link up here in the corner, uh, that's our door that we were coming in and out of to shovel the corn down into the auger that's underneath all this corn. Now, as you can see, we've already put two loads in here and that door, and there's three doors there. We have one and a half covered. Probably within the next two loads, we'll be up above this door and you won't even be able to go in it anymore. So, it's pretty cool. The corn is doing very well so far. It's nice and dry, which is a big deal. And we're getting pretty nice sized corn, getting good yield off the field. So, we're real happy and uh, hopefully it keeps going as well. Just barely, well now you can see it pretty well. The corn's sticking out above the top of the truck. My dad's over there unloading a load right now. I'm gonna try and explain to you how the combine works. So, when they go through the field, there's a bunch of corn stalks, obviously, with the full ear of corn on it. Usually though, after it goes through the drying process on the stalk, it kind of hangs down like this, okay? So, the combine will come through about halfway down the stalk, 
depending on what kind of combine you have, that's what his combine does, the guy that's doing it for us. Comes through, cuts that corn stalk off, feeds it into the machine, and that is where it'll take this outside husk off, like so, break it off, and it will shuck every single ear, or every single kernel of corn off of this cob. Now, that's about exactly what you're looking for when growing field corn. It can be a little smaller, it can be a little bigger. The kernels can be the same thing, a little smaller, a little bigger. But that's about what you're looking for. You want to have a nice, even, filled cob from bottom to top. And then it'll go through, shuck it, and you should have a cob that looks like this when it's finished, okay? Um, obviously, the machines aren't perfect. Sometimes the corn's laying down, sometimes it just depends. You Sometimes you won't get every single kernel or every single cob. You'll still see some laying here and there. But for the most part, 98% at least, you want to see this throughout the field. And then after it spits it out, like I said, you're going to see this, and you'll see this, which is just the shuck cob and a bunch of leaves and particles of corn stalk. So that's what we're looking for. Now, that's one cob here. And like I said before, they range in different sizes. Uh, like, look at that one compared to that one. Now, there's not a huge difference, but that's a pretty good difference when you're looking at thousands and thousands of years because that's going to mean an extra almost two inches of kernels of corn there. So all in all, we're pretty happy with our corn. I would say overall, our corn aver is averaging and it probably will average about 125 to 175 bushels per acre. Um, you never know sometimes if the field lays wet or if it lays or if it's dry out during the growing season. That all depends on how the corn is going to grow. So this field might have had ideal conditions. That's why we have cobs like this. And this field might have been not so perfect conditions. But still, we have a nice filled out cob and that's what we're looking for at the end of the day. All right, so we just got finished with corn. We got the trucks put away. My dad's on top of the bin, uh, blowing everything off, all that like little red chaffy stuff. So we're done. It's a good feeling. So now the next step is going to be getting the stirways on in that bin, getting that corn. It's pretty dry already. It's like 14, 16%, but we're gonna get the, the dryer on, get the stirways going, make sure everything's good so that corn doesn't rot in the bin, and then we'll be set for the next year.